Hello my lovelies, today's video I want to share with you guys three ways I achieve waves or curls using a flat iron using super simple techniques. This video is sponsored by Alta Beauty. I am part of their new spring beauty campaign. I am so excited and really nervous because my picture is going to be in their stores on full blast but I'm excited to be a part of this campaign because it's all about embracing your beauty, creating your own beauty from very minimal makeup, minimal hair to full glam. And that's why I want to share this video because I want to show you guys that you can create super simple, minimal hair to very full glam hair that you can do to various special occasions. Let's begin. For today's weapon of choice, I'm using Aquage by Babyliss Pro. This is the one inch flat iron. This is one of the new products that has launched and I've been using it so far and I've been really enjoying it. And the reason why I like this so much is because it has the heat protect mode when you select it. It has this auto sensor that optimizes the temperature for your hair type. So for me with this flat iron, it sticks around 355 degrees Fahrenheit, which is usually what I use because my hair is fine in texture and that is all it needs. With these hairstyles, there are two simple techniques that I like to follow. The first one being how I'm holding my flat iron. So I can hold it flat, or sometimes I like to give it a nice bend and hold it at a 45 degree angle. And then the second technique comes in is how many times I'm going to twist the flat iron before I start bringing it down the hair. So with a flat or a 90 or even 45, you can do one full twist and then bring it down the hair, or you can do two full twists, so one, two, and then bringing down the hair. Starting with the first hairstyle, I like to call this the barely there bend wave. This one I'm going to do at a 45 degree angle with one twist and then go down the hair. Let me show you. So I'm gonna start with flat and then bringing down to a 45 degree angle. You can over exaggerate because we're doing the barely there bend. So I'm going to over exaggerate and then give it a nice one to half a twist and then gently bring it down the hair, just like that. It gives nice, a barely there bend to the hair, as you can see. The more 45 you go, a little bit more exaggerated, it's gonna give you a longer bend. So same thing, start flat, and then just bring it down to a 45. Give it somewhat of a bend, and just bring it down gently. Just like that. Sometimes I'll go back in and just straighten the end but you can see it gives a nice long bend to the hair instead of a nice tight curl or a tight wave. Same thing on the opposite side, use the different hand. So on my right side, I'm using my left hand. Same thing, start flat and then give a nice bend, give a twist and just gently bring down the hair. And with this one, I just like to do two sections just to keep it nice and easy. I'm gonna start grabbing this hair from the back. And then once I'm done, I'll just take my hands and just go over the hair, and just kind of break everything apart, loosen up some of the waves if I need to. And this should take you a couple minutes to do just because you're taking bigger sections of hair and you're not putting too much wave on the hair. And that completes the look. The barely there, very slight wave to the hair. I love this type of look because it's kind of like that lived in, loved in type of look. It kind of reminds me of when I do the super tight waves and this is kind of like the next couple of days it kind of just falls out, very natural. You've been living your life but you still look good and put together. This is like my minimal type of wave that I love doing. I hope you guys like this one. The second hairstyle or second waves, I love doing this one. I've done these many times this is more of that really nice, tighter beach wave. So with this one, I'm going to do three sections of hair just because I want as much wave as possible with this method. So starting with the technique is going to be the same as the first at a 45 degree angle. Instead of one twist, we're gonna do two full twists and then go down the hair at a 45 degree angle. You can over exaggerate, go a little bit more than 45 to give it more of a longer bend, but this one's gonna be a lot tighter than the first time because we're doing two full twists instead of one. So the same thing, starting at a 45, give it one full twist and then a second twist 
and then very gently go down the hair. So as you can see, it's a lot tighter, but it still has a nice longer bend. So I wanna quickly show you the difference with the one twist compared to the two full twists. So as you can see, it's a lot tighter, but it still gives a nice long bend to the hair. And with this, I do like to take smaller sections. So it is gonna take you a little bit more time than the barely there bend. Take it at a 45 and then give two full twists. And then with the two full twists, just go gently down the hair. Last section. I'm just gonna split my hair right down the middle. Just gonna keep it nice and even for all the looks. Same thing, I'm gonna start from the back. And the reason why I do this is just to make sure I get all the hair just because I can't see from the back. And then I have a mirror. And usually with the front pieces, the very top, I don't like to twist it right away. I'll kind of straighten it down, bring it down a little bit, and then twist it twice. Just like that, because I don't want too much of a bend at the very top. At this time, I'd probably add a little bit of texture spray or dry shampoo to kind of add a little bit more texture and help separate the curls. But because I am going to show a different technique and a different hairstyle, I'm not gonna add any more hair product into my hair. And then I would just take my fingers and just very quickly and gently comb and just separate all the waves or the curls. They're more of a wave than a curl. And that completes the more defined beach wave. I love this one because it's a lot more defined. There is a lot more waves or curls happening because I did grab a lot more hair and I did divide it into more sections of hair and that did give a lot more volume and definition. I love this one so much. This last hairstyle and method, you guys probably know what I'm gonna do. I've been giving hints. It's gonna be nice and tight. I like this one a lot. This does take a little bit more time just because you are taking, again, smaller sections. Let's pick up the hair again. And I'm going a little bit lower this time. With this method, I'm going to keep the flat iron nice and straight, flat, horizontal, and give this two twists. This is going to give a nice tight ringlet instead of a nice bend to the hair. All right, so same thing, and I'm taking smaller sections as I did with the second hairstyle. So, nice and flat, give it once, twice, two full twists, and just bring it down the hair. As you can see, it gives beautiful ringlets to the hair, keeping the flat iron nice, flat, or horizontally. So same thing, once, twice, just bring it down. They're so bouncy, love it. I'm gonna keep it, like I said, nice, even in the middle. So with this Spring Beauty campaign, they flew us out to LA. For this shoot, I filmed a video for Alta and then we took pictures. So it was a full, I think, three days. This was actually my very first ever campaign that I shot with a brand. And it was just so much fun. We went to Malibu, which was really fitting because <laughs> so many of them kept calling me Malibu and they're like, wait, is your name Malibu or Milibu? 
And they're like, what is Milibu? So it's my name, my first and last name combined. And it was just super cool to see, you know, how big companies, what kind of production they do. And it was really fun. And it was amazing to meet so many of the artists, the hair artists, the makeup artists, the fashion artists. It was a really great experience. So what I did for Alta was we shot a video. I did a hair tutorial for them. And then we did pictures the next day. They made me feel very comfortable because it was my very first time shooting with a big brand. And just overall, Alta, they have an amazing team behind them. They were wonderful. And even before we started filming, because there's so much prep work that needs to be done before you film, you wanna make sure all the lights are good, all the sound is good, and there was so many people running around, and I'm just sitting there, and they're just kind of telling me, giving me direction of this is what camera you're gonna be looking at, this is how you're gonna be sitting. All of a sudden, I start sweating. And I'm just kind of like, you guys, I'm literally sweating. My pits are wet. So we had to sit there and dry my pits with a hair dryer before we even started filming. And they were all so sweet about it. They were just like, yeah, we get it. We're all sweating as well. And the light was literally a couple of feet away from my face and it was huge. And another fun fact in Malibu, that's where Andre and I got engaged. So it was really fun to come there. And because I'm finally done with all the heat styling, I'm gonna finally add some texture spray. This one is one of my favorites by AG Hair Care. This is their Testel Texture. It gives a nice textured look and feel, but also adds some shine to the hair. So if you're not into those matte texture sprays, I think you'll really enjoy this one. And with this, you have two options. You can either use your fingers to comb out the curls or you can use a nice hairbrush. I'm gonna start off with my fingers. Look at all that volume. So nice. All right, let's brush the hair out. All right, so that completes the look. This one, I like when you brush it out with a brush because it's all the waves are nice and uniform. To me, this kind of gives like an old Hollywood type of curl or a wave. It's nice and bouncy and it's just full of life. I love it. <laughs> And usually with this hairstyle, I like to part it to a different parting line, a little bit on a deeper side. And this just gives even more volume to the top of the hair. And if you want to just add a little hairspray right here, I usually do that, but I'm not going to today. And that completes the last and final hairstyle. I love this one because you can get really glam with a simple technique, with a simple twist, and you can get beautiful voluminous curls old Hollywood style vibe, or you can just brush it out with your hands and just give it beautiful volume with a lot of definition. And that completes the entire video. My three different hairstyles using one tool with simple methods to create something very simple, minimal to something very glam that you can wear to a beautiful and special occasion. Thank you again to Alta for having me be part of your campaign. It's it's really amazing. And thank you to all of you guys for subscribing, for showing me a lot of your support, for your love, for commenting. You guys are amazing. Thank you for watching you guys again, and I'll see you in the next video. I love you all very much. Bye.